Let's do this. Let's do this. Pardon the bed head, but good morning. Welcome back to Secrets of the Send. Today we've got the brand new 2023 Slicks. We do need to briefly mention that this video is sponsored by Duotone. They did send us the 2023 slicks for us to check out and review, but they will not be seeing the final version of this video. So our opinions are our own. So Taylor, what is the defining characteristic of the slick? Well, at the heart of the slick is gonna be the boom. And with the booms, there are different constructions for it. There is the silver construction of the mini boom, which is an aluminum boom, which will be relatively lightweight and really stiff. It's also going to be the cheapest one and the most affordable for anyone who is looking to get into the boom wing experience. At the other end, you have the Platinum SLS, which is going to be a fully carbon boom, which will be really lightweight, really stiff. It's even a skinnier version of the boom. So if you find that the silver is too large and you want something a bit skinnier, they do have the Platinum SLS. If you look at the SLS boom right here, you can see that the back tip has these little teeth on the back and that will just prevent uh, the end from moving around or sliding out of the placement if it manages to come out, but we've never had that happen in our experience, so. No. But not everything is different. So Alex, what did stay the same between the 2022 slick and the 2023 slick? On the 2023 slick, it maintains the same moderate wingspan, making it a really easy to control wing. It's not gonna be too wide, so you're not gonna be tapping your tips on the water while you're riding if you have the wing low. And then it also maintains the same window layout. This was a really popular window layout. I, fi I find that it works really well. You can see through it when you both have the wing high and low, it's just really efficient. So Taylor, what exactly has changed and, or what has been updated on this wing? Well, broadly speaking, there's gonna be two categories of changes. There's gonna be changes to the geometry of the wing and then changes to the canopy material of the wing. So as far as the geometry goes, there's gonna be two main changes that really increase the performance while still keeping the wings, you know, kind of the, the DNA of the it's wing. Characteristics. It's characteristics, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's life. It basically takes what we liked about it and then just made it way better. And so the first one of those is gonna be the reflex of the wing. And so generally speaking, reflex is gonna be on a wing, the scoop up of the tail. And gotcha. so in wing design, this really helps introduce stability. When you drop the front of the wing, it's gonna raise back up in combination with the reflex is also going to be an adjusted tip angle and together these things are really going to help improve stability and handling of the wing overall the second major overhaul in the geometry is going to be in the pocket of the wing and that's kind of where the wing pulls from yeah and while the tweaks seem may seem visually maybe even not there this wing is a beast when it comes to pocket and pull and grunt and boosting all this stuff is awesome. So that's gonna be from the second geometry change, which is gonna be that pocket. Then there's one major change that really is probably one of the main features that made this wing just come alive. And that is the introduction of the new canopy material, Mod 3. But Alex, I don't even know what Mod 3 is, so why should I care and why should I get this new wing with Mod 3 in it? Well, let's jump into a deep dive on what Mod 3 is. Similar to how Alula changed the game with leading edge material providing so many benefits, Mod 3 does the exact same thing, but this time for the canopy. Mod 3 is the first wing-specific material developed by Duotone, and it brings a plethora of benefits to the riding experience. So you're probably thinking, so what? Or why does that matter? Well, here's a list of a few benefits that Mod 3 does provide for winging. It provides a much more consistent power delivery. It has much more solid feel. It translates to better pumping energy and getting on foil. It has better draft stability so you don't have to move your hands when the gust hits. It has better durability so your wings can last longer and take a beating if needed. And trust me, it can take a beating. It has a better top end control and also better depowerability. And lastly, it reduces the stretch and maintains the wing geometry. And trust me, we like the wing geometry. <laughs> <laughs> so the big takeaway of why Mod 3 is important, it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
This thing is a machine, like an absolute unit. But it's not. But it's unit. not a unit. It's a slick. <laughs> With the slick SLS that we had before, we love that wing. I mean, you guys probably saw we were riding that for majority of our Witzer Pro and Average Joe breakdown moves, which. Stay tuned, there's gonna be more coming. We're just, uh, we're about to be leaving Baja, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do more of that when we get back to our home spot in California. Yeah, this thing is nuts. It's almost crazy because it takes what I like about the slick, and it just improves upon it and kind of integrates the DNA of the other wings in the lineup yeah. into it. And it takes what's good about one and about the other. It has the genes of, the best genes of everything. Yeah. And it's like, the best kid. It's, it's <laughs> so, it's a great child. I love it, I love it. So I guess if we're talking about it specifically from the other Duotone wings that we have used, mm -hmm. if you take the slick SLS, yeah. um, you get the control and the neutrality of that wing. Mm -hmm. When we say neutrality, we're talking about where the power is kind of pulling from. Yeah. This wing, I feel, has a very central pull. Yeah, just like yeah. The, just like that other slick. But the slick SLS, it just was not as grunty or girthy yeah, yeah. in the low end. Like even with a four, you're riding it and it just feels kind of light. I feel like what we were getting with this wing is uh, an amazing middle ground yes. between the grunt and the power and the uh, it's like a, you know, strong, strong and powerful. And then on the other end of the spectrum is going to be control, neutral, finesse. But this wing like seamlessly blends between the two without detracting from either. Yes, I think that's a super important thing. Is like it does while it does blend, mm -hmm. it doesn't detract or take away from the experience. Of no, it, it, and I think that's going to be the mod three that's yeah. really doing that. Like because it maintains its neutral, its form. Yeah. But you're getting that grunt and that that a little bit more power. It's like just enough to where I want it. It's right where I want it, but it's not too much. I think that's like a big thing with this wing is that everything is just how I want it, but not too much. For those of you who have tried a D-Lab unit in the past, you know how different it is from the normal unit. The, the introduction of Alula into the leading edge material makes a huge difference, and it's almost mind-blowing just how good it is. That's kind of the same experience that we had with this wing. It mm -hmm. is mind-blowing how good it is, and like, how stable and everything it is. During one of our sessions, we were going on the 4.5 in only 12 knots. <laughs> like, a 4.5 in only 12 knots, we were on foil with, with, with pumping, but we were able to get going. I was telling Taylor on the water, I don't feel like I'm losing out by not having a D-Lab. And like, that's a big thing, because normally it's like, uh, you have the, the you have the regular level, which is the same as the, the like the market average. But it's so not. It's, it's so, so not. much better. But that's where it's placed. Like. That, that's where this slick right here is placed. And then you have SLS, which is the more advanced material sciences. Specifically, it's going to be an upgraded leading edge material, which is going to be that Pentatex, which is just a lot stiffer. And I think this wing with Pentatex oh. would be even more amazing. At the top end, you have the D-Lab, which is the Alula, which is even stiffer than Pentatex. Basically. As you go up, the only thing you're going to get is going to be a stiffer leading edge. But in this wing, I didn't really feel like I needed it. It, it was pretty remarkable. The range going from a 4, 5, and 12 knots to this, the 3, 5, in and 36 30, like, knots yesterday. <laughs> dust to 39, peak of 39 on a 3, 5? No way, no way. Nothing, nothing else I've ever ridden has performed like this wing. No. This is the wing I want to be on all season. Oh yeah, for sure. Crazy. For sure. Oh yeah, the old Slick SLS tended to have this issue of like tipping, wanting to tip. And that is completely gone on this wing. So it makes riding it just so comfortable. And now I can do things that I would never have done with the Slick SLS because of how it tips. For example, riding in switch with one hand and touching the water on the other <laughs> side. Yeah. Like that's not something you could have done with the old uh, SLS. Like. With, or with the last year's SLS slick, just because the wing would want to tip, especially when you're yeah, riding yeah. with just one hand. I did also want to mention one thing that we did feel, because the canopy material is now stiffer, the softer Dacron, you can definitely feel the flex of the arms, but by no means was that bad. No, it was weird. It was like good, good, bad. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was like, it flexes, but it wasn't an issue. The wing wasn't dumping power, in fact. Like it was, mm. it kind of felt like it was almost like, it was maintaining the power even while flexing. But this wing specifically, even though it has Dacron, it performed phenomenally well in pumping. Like the the geometry, I think the geometry changes while they're really small. It for some reason it feels like when you're pumping, it feels really efficient 
And by that, I mean all of the effort that I was putting in to getting on foil went into getting on foil. Yes. All of my pumping was not wasted. It felt. It feels like sometimes with other wings, when you pump and you pump and you pump, it doesn't matter how hard you're pumping, it's just not getting translated into, it's like the energy of the wind is not getting translated into you getting on foil. One of the next big things that I noticed is just how, this is probably the first, one of the first duotone wings that I have held where when you're flagging it or just like riding with it, holding it by the front handle, it was actually stable. So it wasn't stable. swinging around, flying, it was just mm -hmm. locked. Like I know that that's, a, that's something that other brands have had on their wings for a long time now, mm -hmm. but the, what you're lacking on those other brands what they didn't, didn't have is the hard handles or the boom. Mm -hmm. And I feel the weight of those hard handles and the boom is what was causing wings to start to sway more. And mm -hmm. by, by no means is this the lightest duotone wing. No. Like it, it is not the, gonna be the lightest one. It's still remarkably light. But it flies, well, wrong, it flies but it, so well. Yes, it flies so well. So if you were to place your entire thoughts about this wing mm -hmm. into one sentence, what would it be? If I was to describe my experience on this wing in one sentence, or even just three words, it's, it just works. I know it sounds really weird, but the wing does everything that I expect it to do or want it to do without question and without significant effort. Really easy ride, it's really responsive, really comfortable to ride, it's just, I'm going to I'm going to be on this wing this season. For me after riding this wing, I'm going to say too good to be true. But it's not. There's not. It's not too good to be true. And by that I mean that it defied all of my expectations, not just about what a wing can provide, but also entirely changed my perspective about design trade-offs mm. in a wing and, and compromise and having to give up one quality to get the other. And for me, this wing just, it ticks all the boxes. It does well in high end, it does well in low end, it pumps well, it's stable, it jumps huge. <laughs> well, not sad, it doesn't sacrifice anything. And for me, before trying this wing, if someone would have said it does all that, I would have said, cap, no way. <laughs> no sir, no ma'am, It does. that is not possible. That is cap. Bro. That is cap. All right, who is this wing truly for? I can speak for both of us when I say that this is the first wing that I can truly recommend for any rider of any level, whether you are a pro or a complete beginner who's looking to get into winging. This will be a great wing for anyone. All the way on the spectrum from first time touching a wing all the way to doing the most extreme freestyle tricks, you're gonna appreciate what this wing brings to the rider. Uh, this wing easily could be the one type of wing quiver for all the way from beginner to advanced. From learning your first jibes, it's gonna be neutral. From even just riding for the first time, it's gonna be super stable. For boosting and jumping in you know, medium to high winds, you're gonna it fly. does it like, Everyone is gonna, everyone can benefit from this wing, including us, and I know we're probably gonna be on this wing for the rest of maybe forever. <laughs> the only thing about this wing that not only beginners, but maybe also advanced people who have never used a boom wing might find daunting is gonna be the boom itself. And uh, it's, all, it's almost daunting because with the boom you get complete freedom. But that also means you get complete freedom. <laughs> Where do you put your hands? My, for example, my little brother, even coming from windsurfing, he still struggles with trying to f figure out where to put his hands when riding. And sometimes he rides with his front hand all the way at the front and his back hand all the way at the back and he's like this. <laughs> and that's, that's not what you want to do. So like if you're looking at this, at this boom, the way that we typically ride is with our hand on the duo, on the duotone, and then our back hand right on this, uh, right at the end of that line, either on the seam where it goes from the, where it changes colors or right in front of it. And if you are really looking for power, behind it. Other than that, this wing, <laughs> if you guys are in the Bay Area of California or just happen to be driving through, come out to the Delta or Rio Vista, Sherman Island. We're gonna be there the entire summer basically. And if you guys wanna try the slick, please come out. We'll be more than happy to get you guys on it to give it a go. We'll bet our, we'll bet this review on <laughs> you liking the wing. So anyways, thank you again, Duotone, for sending us these wings to review. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to ride them and experience them. Experience them. We hope that our opinions find value with you and are helpful in your decision on whether or not you will try this wing or not, um, or even end up going with it. 
Uh, definitely try it if you can. Definitely try, definitely it. try it. If you guys learned something and you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out and we'll keep bringing videos to you guys that way. <laughs> and as always, this has been Secrets of the Send. We'll see you guys in the next one.